Welcome, dear viewers, to Nirvana Travel. Today, we invite you on a mesmerizing journey through the stunning Cinque Terre, nestled along the rugged Italian Riviera. In this journey, we'll take you on a mesmerizing aerial tour of Monterosso, Vernazza, Cornelia, Monarola, and Rio Maggiore. Each town is a unique gem, offering a blend of natural beauty, vibrant culture, and unforgettable experiences. If you find yourself enchanted by the beauty we're about to unveil, please show your support by leaving a like, dropping a comment, and subscribing to our channel, Nirvana Travel, for more travel adventures. Cinque Terre, which translates to Five Lands, is located in the Liguria region of northwestern Italy. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is renowned for its dramatic cliffs, terraced vineyards, colorful houses, and crystal clear waters. With a rich history dating back to the 11th century, Cinque Terre has retained its charm and authenticity. Now, let's embark on our journey and discover the magic of each of the five towns. Monterosso Monterosso, often referred to as the Jewel of Cinque Terre, holds a special place within this coastal paradise. Here are some captivating insights about Monterosso that will make you fall in love with this picturesque town. Monterosso is divided into two distinct parts, the historic old town, Monterosso Vecchio, and the modern Fagina, which is where you'll find the sandy beaches and the majority of accommodations. This division provides a delightful contrast within the town. Monterosso boasts the largest sandy beach in Cinque Terre. This makes it the perfect destination for those who wish to relax, soak up the sun, and take refreshing dips in the crystal clear waters of the Ligurian Sea. Don't miss the opportunity to climb the centuries-old Aurora Tower. This medieval lookout point offers breathtaking panoramic views of the town and the surrounding coastline, making it a must-visit spot for photographers and history enthusiasts alike. Hidden in the hills above Monterosso is the Sanctuary of Sovior, an ancient pilgrimage site. It's a tranquil place that provides a serene escape from the hustle and bustle of the coast. The sanctuary offers a glimpse into the region's religious history and boasts stunning views. Like many places in Cinque Terre, Monterosso is known for its lemon groves and olive trees. The lemons produced here are famous for their size and flavor, and you can sample local lemon products throughout the town. If you visit in May, you might be lucky enough to experience Monterosso's annual lemon festival. During this lively event, the town comes alive with vibrant parades, lemon-themed decorations, and traditional music and dance. Monterosso is the ideal starting point for embarking on the famous coastal hikes that connect all five towns of Cinque Terre. The trails offer incredible vistas of the sea and the surrounding landscape. Be sure to hike the renowned Sentiero Azzurro, which provides breathtaking views of the coastline. While exploring the old town, you'll encounter historical landmarks like the Church of San Giovanni Battista, which dates back to the 13th century. The church's black and white striped facade is a distinctive architectural feature. Vernazza Vernazza, often hailed as the crown jewel of Cinque Terre, is a place where history and beauty converge seamlessly. Vernazza's natural harbor is undoubtedly one of the most photographed and iconic sites in Cinque Terre. The colorful houses perched on the cliffs surrounding the harbor create a postcard-perfect scene that's nothing short of breathtaking. One of the town's most prominent landmarks is the medieval Vernazza Castle, Castello Doria, which dates back to the 15th century. This imposing structure stands as a testament to Vernazza's historical significance. While you can't explore the castle's interior, the views from its exterior are unparalleled, especially during sunset. The Church of Santa Margherita di Anciochia is a religious and architectural gem in Vernazza. This church, dating back to the 13th century, features a stunning black and white striped facade and exquisite Gothic interiors. It's a testament to the town's rich history and devotion. Vernazza is famously linked to neighboring Monarola via the Lover's Walk, via Delamore. This cliffside path, perched above the azure waters of the Ligurian Sea, 
provides not only breathtaking views but also a romantic backdrop for couples. The terraced hillsides surrounding Vernazza are home to some of St. Terra's finest vineyards. Here, you'll find the unique Vernaccia grape variety, which produces a renowned dry white wine known as Vernaccia di Vernazza. Sampling this local wine is a must for wine enthusiasts. Vernazza is known for its vibrant community spirit, and throughout the year, it hosts various festivals and events that showcase the town's culture and traditions. The Feast of Santa Margarita di Antiochia in July is a particularly lively celebration not to be missed. For generations, fishing has been a way of life for the people of Vernazza. The town's fishing heritage is still evident in the colorful boats that line the harbor and the fresh seafood that graces the menus of local restaurants. Explore the charming streets of Vernazza, where vibrant bougainvillea and wisteria vines decorate the buildings, creating a vibrant and inviting atmosphere. The town's narrow lanes are a delight to wander through. Cornelia Cornelia, the hidden gem of Cinque Terre, occupies a one-of-a-kind position atop a cliff and offers a distinct character that sets it apart from the other towns. Cornelia is the only town in Cinque Terre that isn't directly adjacent to the sea. It sits perched high on a terraced cliff, providing panoramic views of the surrounding vineyards, coastline, and the Azure Sea below. This elevation grants Cornelia a mesmerizing perspective. The dramatic terraced hillsides surrounding Cornelia are adorned with grapevines, producing some of the region's finest wines, including the renowned Shashetra dessert wine. The skillful cultivation of these vineyards is a testament to the town's agricultural heritage. To reach Cornelia from the train station, you must conquer the Lardarina, a remarkable staircase comprising 382 steps. This ascent may sound daunting, but the breathtaking views that greet you at the top make it entirely worthwhile. The heart of Cornelia is its charming main square, Piazza Largo Terragio, surrounded by quaint cafes and shops. Here, you'll also find the Church of San Pietro, which dates back to the 14th century and boasts a simple yet elegant facade. Cornelia is a gateway to some of St. Terra's most scenic hiking trails. The Sentiero Azzurro, Blue Trail, passes through the town, providing opportunities for breathtaking walks amidst nature's splendor. Cornelia is known for its peaceful and less crowded atmosphere compared to its neighboring towns. This tranquil setting makes it an ideal place for quiet contemplation and relaxation. Sunsets in Cornelia are a romantic spectacle. As the sun dips below the horizon, the warm hues illuminate the terraced vineyards and cast a golden glow over the entire town. Throughout the year, Cornelia hosts various festivals and events that celebrate its culture and traditions. These include the Sagra della Pesci, Peach Festival, and the Festa del Vino, Wine Festival, where you can indulge in local produce and enjoy lively festivities. Monarola Monarola, often described as the timeless beauty of Cinque Terre, enchants visitors with its colorful facades, breathtaking cliffs, and rich history. Monarola's most recognizable landmark is its striking bell tower, which rises prominently above the town. The tower is part of the Church of San Lorenzo and adds a unique charm to the coastal scenery. Monarola is also connected to its neighboring town by the famous Via dell'Amore, Lover's Lane. This cliffside path is not only a romantic attraction but also offers breathtaking views of the sea and coastline. Monarola is renowned for its terraced vineyards that produce some of the finest Cinque Terre wines. The steep slopes and meticulous cultivation methods showcase the town's dedication to winemaking. When in Monarola, be sure to sample the local wine, particularly the crisp white wine made from the Bianco Monarola grape variety. 
This wine is a perfect complement to the region's seafood dishes. If you visit Monarola during the Christmas season, you'll witness a unique tradition. The town sets up a massive nativity scene known as the Precepe, which illuminates the cliffs with thousands of lights, creating a magical holiday ambiance. Monarola is home to charming cafes and restaurants where you can savor local delicacies like anchovies, trinette al pesto, a regional pasta dish, and of course, the renowned pesto sauce. Monarola celebrates its heritage through various festivals and events, including the Festival of San Lorenzo on August 10, featuring a charming procession, music, and fireworks that light up the night sky. The harbor in Monarola offers one of the most picturesque settings to witness the sunset. As the sun dips below the horizon, the colorful buildings glow in the golden light, creating an enchanting scene. Fishing has been a way of life in Monarola for generations, and the town's harbor continues to be a hub of fishing activity. Stroll along the harbor and watch fishermen tending to their boats and nets. Rio Maggiore. Rio Maggiore, a coastal paradise in the heart of Cinque Terre, captures the essence of seaside, Italian living, like no other. Rio Maggiore is renowned for its vibrant and cheerful buildings, which feature a palette of bright colors. These colorful facades stand in striking contrast against the deep blue waters of the Ligurian Sea, creating a picturesque setting. The town's charming marina is a focal point of daily life. It's a great place to watch fishermen at work, take a leisurely stroll along the waterfront promenade, or simply relax and enjoy the coastal ambiance. Rio Maggiore boasts historical landmarks such as the Church of San Giovanni Battista, which dates back to the 14th century. The church's simple yet elegant architecture reflects the town's rich history. As with Vernazza and Monarola, Rio Maggiore is connected to its neighboring towns by the famous Via della More, Lover's Lane. This romantic cliffside path offers splendid views of the sea and the dramatic coastline. The terraced hillsides surrounding Rio Maggiore are dotted with vineyards that produce high-quality wines. Be sure to sample the local Shashedra, a sweet wine that pairs perfectly with Cinque Terre's desserts. Perched above the town, you'll find the remnants of the castle of Rio Maggiore. While it's not open to the public, its presence adds to the town's historical charm, and the views from the castle ruins are worth the visit. In addition to vineyards, Rio Maggiore is home to lush olive groves. The olives harvested here are used to produce high-quality olive oil, a staple in Ligurian cuisine. Rio Maggiore's proximity to the sea means that you can enjoy some of the freshest seafood dishes in Cinque Terre. Try the local specialty, Axiug Sado Sale, salted anchovies, and savor the flavors of the Mediterranean. Throughout the year, Rio Maggiore hosts a variety of festivals and events celebrating its culture and traditions. The Sagra del Pes, fish festival, in March is a standout, where you can savor delicious seafood dishes prepared by local fishermen. Thank you for embarking on this incredible journey through Cinque Terre with us. We hope you've been as captivated by the beauty, history, and culture of these five enchanting towns as we have. As our adventure comes to a close, we'd love to hear from you. Which one of these five unique towns in Cinque Terre would you most like to visit? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you've enjoyed this experience, please show your support by leaving a like and subscribing to our channel, Nirvana Travel, for more captivating travel adventures. Until next time, wanderlust travelers, keep exploring and seeking the beauty that our world has to offer. Ciao from Nirvana Travel.